Okay, I'm going to give you a tour uh, tour of your website so you can uh, so you can understand how it works and how you can make changes to it. So as you can see, I'm on the home page here. We got the home page about us order online. Uh, so let me go ahead and just go through the home page here. So again, um, as you can see, it has uh, has all your information on your home page. People can uh, find your business and get more information. But the main page I want to focus on is your order online page, the shop page. So again, this is the shop page right here. You can have it called order online or you can have it called shop. So I use both names on your website. So if somebody wants to order flowers, they can just press shop online here. If they go here, it'll say order online. They both mean similar things. So um, so anyhow, that's the wording for your shop page. So when I click on shop online, what you will notice is your menu from your Clover. As we discussed on the phone, uh, you had mentioned to me to add this uh, message on there. So I put, please note, uh, for delivery orders, you must place your order. Uh, let me change that. You must place your order. I put an S there excellently. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how I'm, how I'm going to change that so you can get an idea how to do that yourself. Or you can add more text in here. For example, let's say during the winter or during the summer, you want to make some changes or you're able to uh, deliver faster. You can go ahead and customize this text here. But um, again, what you're going to be working on on your side, you're going to make changes to the category names because right now they're difficult to understand. So get, go ahead, change those category names. Once you change those category names, uh, either you can uh, email me or, or you can do it yourself. So here's how you do that. So let's suppose uh, you, you make the changes on your Clover and you want it to apply to the website. What you would do is you will log into the back end of your website. So using the username and password that I emailed you, uh, go ahead and log in with that and once you log in you'll be presented with this page right here this is the back end of your website you'll see uh, all pages uh, add new lots of different things here the one we're gonna focus on right now is this button here clover orders so when you go to settings here you'll be presented uh, with lots of different options uh, the one we're gonna focus on is import inventory even though your inventory is already imported, but we're going to focus on this button here called Manual Sync. Because once you make changes to your inventory, you will come over here and update it. So, for example, once you make your changes on your Clover inventory, go over here and then uh, press these three buttons. So, update modifiers, update categories, and then update all items. Okay? And the items... Um, usually takes up to a minute or two minutes depending on how many items you have so you have 288 items uh, that should get updated in about 20 30 seconds there you go now we have your inventory updated okay so whenever you update your inventory go back to your order online page press the refresh button uh, on your browser and then you will it'll refresh the page so you can see what it looks like okay the next thing I want to show you is how to make some changes to your uh, website uh, oh, actually, you already made changes here. Look at that. Oh, wow. You already changed your category name. Good. Okay, good. I'm glad I did a manual sync just on time, too. So we got Precious, Single, Rose, Bud Vase. Um, these are your three category names. And again, uh, you can also add images to this. So let me just let me just uh, uh, add one image for you so you can see what it looks like. Uh, you can change it yourself later, but for now, I'll just add one for you, okay? Let me go in the back end here. When you're in the back end, press Categories and Items. And you'll notice, uh, actually, let me refresh the page so these things can change because I just did a manual sync. Perfect. See how it has the new names now? Press this camera icon here. Again, I'm going to upload just a random image from your website. I'm going to just pick any picture here. Let's say I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to press insert to post. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and just use a different picture here. I'll use, I'll use this one here. Did I just use it? Yeah, that's a different one. Okay, sweet half dozen roses. Again, whenever you get the login, feel free to change these images. I'm gonna just pick something. Okay, these are not roses, but um, so feel free to change that. Let me go ahead and choose something else here. I'll choose this one here. Okay, so whenever you get back here, just press this camera icon. Uh, actually, sorry, press delete and then just press the camera icon so you can upload a different image. If you want it not visible, just slide this to the left. Okay, so now that I've uploaded these images, I'm going to go back to your website and press refresh. Okay, I'm refreshing your browser now. Let's see what it looks like now. There you go. It looks much better. See how we have our pictures here? Okay. 
Again, this one maybe need to, this picture uh, needs to be changed because it's not roses right here. I'm not sure what these flowers are called, but uh, so feel free to change that. Okay, so we got uh, the three categories, and if you want to upload a picture for the for the individual flowers, uh, you can do that also. So let me show you how to do that. You go in the back end, press items images right here. See on the left side it says clover orders items images. Click on that one time, and then let's see. Let me see what this is called. Oh, this one is called single rose bud vase. Okay, let me. I'm gonna search for that single. Just type in the first few letters of the of the name. Single. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna add an image to it. There you go. I'm gonna upload. Um, again, I don't know what that looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this one for now. So make sure uh, when you come over here, change it, okay? Because I'm pretty sure this is not the right flower for that picture. I mean, for that item. Okay. Again, you can also add a description. You can say this this flower comes in this vase and has this color and uh, it smells like this. You can you can write messages here, okay? Since I uh, since I wouldn't know what to write, I'm gonna leave that blank for you so you can add that. Okay, now we save this. We got this picture. Again, you can add more pictures to it if you want. You can add up to five pictures for it. Let me go back over here now. Remember, remember what I just did? What I did was I uploaded an image for this flower called Singer Rose Bud Vase. Right now, it doesn't have a picture, but when I refresh the page, it'll have it now because I just added it. So when your customers go to your page now, they'll see a picture for it. See right here? When I press it on it, it comes bigger. So I can see like what I'm buying. Um, so remember, pictures uh, will help you out with that. I'm gonna go ahead and close that because I uh, minimize the picture there. Again, you can add a picture to this one, uh, to this one, and you can add more items for it too. Let's suppose um, you have this this item here, but you don't want to sell it on the website. You only want to sell it in your on in in store. So what would you, the way to get rid of that would be this way. So you're gonna type in mixed. Click on items images. Type in the word, put your mouse over that name and just put hide from website. Or if you don't want to hide it, you want to temporarily uh, make it uh, out of stock, just put enable out of stock. So for example, watch, when I press enable out of stock, look what, look what happens on the website. This item will become out of stock. Customers will know you carry it, but they just can't order it. See, it says out of stock. You know, So this is a good way you can put that in and they'll check back later if it's back in stock. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, put that back in stock because I don't want it so that way your customers can order it. I'm going to say Disable out of stock. Okay, perfect. So um, let me do the other one for you. I think you uh, your delivery radius. I believe it's 10 miles So let me add that for you. Feel free to change it yourself. This is your delivery area. Okay um, I'm gonna press add zone. I'm gonna call this zone 1 delivery radius 10 miles minimum order um, go ahead. When you come back to this area, feel free to uh, make those changes. Delivery fee, uh, you can do for free. I'll just put a dollar for now, okay? Feel free to change that. I'm going to draw my zone. There we go. There my, there's my 10-mile radius. Press validate selected zone. I'm going to put $150 to get free delivery, okay? But when you come back here, feel free to change that. So when you log into the website, again, click on settings, delivery areas and fees press edit and say you know what I want to charge two dollar delivery fee and put two here and you can say wait I want to have a minimum order of hundred dollars and or you can say you know what I don't want to give free delivery um, uh, you know you can just remove that okay so again you can make those changes yourself whenever you get here um, everything else I pretty much set it up for you this looks good allow customers uh, you see coupons if you want to enable coupons you can do that so let me show you how coupons work because I think this will be very useful, especially for a flower uh, shop, because uh, you can post the coupons on your Instagram and then get your customers to order online. So I'm going to go ahead and make one coupon for you, and feel free to change it yourself. I'm going to press coupons enabled, save changes. Okay, and I'm going to go to coupons, and I'm going to say add coupon. So coupon name, I'm going to say floral, floral five. Coup sorry, uh, sorry. Coupon name it should be the name that's going to appear on the receipt. I'll say online, uh, online special. This is what's going to appear on the receipt itself. Okay. Coupon code, I'm going to call it floral five. So what you would do is you would take this code right here, put put it on your Instagram. Say, hey, um, 
hey customers uh, I have a website now um, if you order online you'll get 10% off or something like that so I'm gonna do I'll do I'll do 10% uh, off minimum amount I'll leave that blank expiration date I'll say it's good until end of October so I'll say if you use coupon code floral5 until end of October you'll get 5% uh, off I mean sorry 10% off number of uses press 0 for unlimited if you only want this coupon code to be used 20 times put 20 here if you want it to be used 5 times put 5 here uh, I'm gonna put it for unlimited use okay I'm gonna press add so now we have coupon code uh, floral5 so when you click on coupons again uh, you'll see that your first coupon code is created. Again, you can create as many coupons as you want. I can press add coupon. I can make floral uh, 10, floral 20. I can put um, flower shop 15. Whatever you want to add, you could add your coupon codes here. If you come to the website and you don't want this coupon code here, just click on coupons and then delete it right here. Delete it or disable it. Okay, so I have floral 5. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, order order something from your website. Now you'll notice that on your website, a new box will appear called coupons. See coupon code? I'm gonna go ahead and put my name here. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, floral five. Apply. Checking my coupon. There we go. I got 10% off. See. So this is a good way to get your customers excited about your online shop and to get them to come and buy some flowers from your website. Okay, so this will come in handy. Again, uh, I you can use a different name. Uh, uh, if you want to use a different name, just go back here and change it and you can put a different name here. So that's the coupons. Um, let me see what else I can show you to get you started. There's more more settings. Oh yeah, let me show you the store interface. You might like a different one. So we have one, two, three, four, five store interface you can choose from. The one I chose for you is number four, but feel free to choose a different one. Uh, you can do number five if you like, or number two. Let me show you what number five looks like. Press save changes. Okay, I'm going to go back to the shop page or the order online page. So this is store interface 5. See, it looks like this. Okay? So you can you can change the store interface. Again, changing the images from the same area. You go to categories and items, press the camera icon and change the pictures. Okay, uh, let's see what else is there. Checkout settings, store settings. You'll get an email to this email address. If you want to add more people to the list, put comma and add their email address, okay? So if you have like three employees, uh, you want them to get an email when an order comes through, just you can add up to five employees here. Just follow this example here. Track stock. Um, if you want to know how many, uh, if you want to, if you have like 25 roses in stock and and you only want to sell 25 on the website, you can enable it so that way, uh, when somebody try to or, tries to order the 26 flower, it will say out of stock. Business hours. Yeah, let me let me enable that. Let me so people so somebody doesn't come and order from your drive through. Uh, after your business hours. Okay, good. Um, that's good. That looks good. I like custom scheduler orders. Hey, let me go ahead and do that. This one again. When you come back here, go ahead and disable it. But I'm going to enable it for you. What this means is that um, your customers can come and um, schedule their orders. I'm going to put um, 300 minutes because because I remember you mentioned to me that. They have to, um, if they order by 11.30, actually, let me just leave it the way it is. I'll just put um, 60 minutes here. I'll leave, I'll leave, this is a pickup, this is delivery, how much minimum time you require. Um, but anyhow, we put a message on the website telling them that they have to order before 11.30. But at the same time, this will uh, allow them to choose one hour later so they can choose the correct time. So let me press save changes, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, buy something here. Now you'll notice this button here says choose a time. So, so the earliest I can choose is one hour later. But again, I put a message here. It says, um, actually, let me add that message on the checkout page too, because it's only on the order online page. Let me go back to the order online page. Okay, please note for delivery orders, you must place orders by. Oh, that's correct. You must place orders by 11.30 a.m. to receive them the same day. Reasonable substitutions may apply. Oops. Let me show you how to change that, okay? So if you want to change that, what you do is you go to Pages here, All Pages, find the order online page, and press Edit. 
Okay, once you press edit, this may kind of seem overwhelming at first, but um, it's pretty easy once you kind of follow the steps. So you want to do not the first one, but the second one. See where it says text right here? Press this three dots right here. I'm sorry, three lines. And then it'll, it'll open up. Remember not to delete this thing, okay? This is your menu. This is your order online menu. You want to make changes here. So, for example, if you want to say, uh, orders must be placed by 11.45, just, just change it. 11.45, or, you know, whatever you want to change it to. Uh, please call the store for more details. So feel free, feel free to log in here and make changes to it. Like during the winter, during the summer, let's say uh, you need it by 10 a.m. is getting very busy. Go ahead, change it here, okay? I'm going to go ahead, press save and exit, and then press update. So make sure to press update to get those changes reflected on the website. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else to show you. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me, or you can do this. You can go on here, frequently asked questions. You know, it has lots of answers here. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, everything is pretty much here. So again, uh, make sure the first thing you want to do is go over here, press the trash can on these items, and change it. Um, this one I'm going to delete for you because I know that's definitely not a rose. Okay, so see how it's gone. So for that one, uh, feel free to uh, add the picture, okay? Okay, that sounds good. Thank you for your time. Uh, have a good day.